Welcome to the Backspec Family YouTube channel. I'm Jonathan, and in today's episode, I am taking the kids to where? McDonald's! McDonald's, baby! So as you know, we're big street food advocates on this channel, but every now and again, when the weather's hot, we're kind of tired, you gotta do something for the kids. And McDonald's is typically a good hit. Yeah. All right, so while we're there, we're gonna check out some local yeah. Thai flavors and see what it's all about. Bye, Mom! Bye, Mom! Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Catch up on sleep. Okay, you guys ready for this? Yeah! All right, so we are looking for a tuk-tuk to get us to McDonald's. Of course, Kelly, you just saw, is uh, in the room. She is just going to take a little rest from all the jet lag. So I thought, what a perfect opportunity to get a little lunch before we head to the pool. So grabbing the kids, heading to McDonald's. Forrest, you excited for McDonald's? I'm getting my kids meal. Ooh, a kids meal, huh? Now, there are some pretty unique Thai uh, looking items on the menu. We kind of perused it online. So we've eaten McDonald's in quite a few countries. This will be our first Thailand McDonald's. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, bud. And I also get the toy from, from Kids Meal. Yeah, there's gonna be some little toy. I don't know what it'll be, but we'll find out. Me All right, guys, well, let's kind of start negotiating. Here are these Tuk Tuk's. Now I looked on Grab. It's 137 baht for a Grab to get from our hotel to the McDonald's. So we'll see what we can do with the Tuk Tuk. Uh, we want to go to McDonald's. McDonald's? Yeah, it's like uh, down uh, there. Yeah, that one, the kilometer. How much for one kilometer? Uh, 150 baht. All right, sir, thank you. Thank 150, you. that's just a little bit more than grab, but we get this kind of fun experience. Probably could have negotiated down to 100, but uh, you know, 150 it is. Here you go. So, going yeah, let's have Cedar go here. Forrest, you ready for this, bud? Do I go here? No, you scoot in the middle. And me and Forrest, oh, sorry, bud. Whack your head. Here, Forrest, hold on. Let me see here. Oh, boy. Okay, go. Come, Forrest. Okay, guys. In our first Thai tuk tuk ride. Oh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it looks like my group here. Yeah, I got some handles here. Yeah. Woo! I can reach your hand. All right. Yes, you can. Oh, I got some party lights. Woo! All right. Daddy, so fast. Yeah, you excited for, for Thailand Forest? Yeah. Can you guys think of a country where you've had McDonald's? U.S., oh, obviously. Singapore. India. Singapore, India. Oh. Malaysia. Indonesia. Indonesia. I, Indonesia. I had one in Japan. Oh, you have McDonald's in Japan? I know. Yeah, I had one in Japan. Wow, how was that? It was actually pretty good. Was there India? Yeah, we went to the India McDonald's. Of course, that would have no beef. So yeah. there should be no such Hong problem Kong. here. Oh, Hong Kong. Yeah, went to McDonald's in Hong Kong. Yep. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to peruse the menu and look for those, like, authentic Thai dishes. I mean, it's so interesting to go to these McDonald's all around the world. They typically have a McDonald's version of the local cuisine, so it'd be interesting to see. Uh, I, I predict rice. Yeah. Certainly like pork is pretty popular. Uh, I did see they have some kind of pork burger. We're going to check that out. Oh. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what else we can find on the menu. But all right, I think we're almost there. This guy's speedy. Made it to McDonald's, but come to find out, there's like a whole street food scene in here. So we're going to take a quick walk in here, see what we can see. We might be able to look for like some kind of dessert for after McDonald's. But certainly, oh, durian, that'd be nice. Fresh cut fruit, durian would be good. It smells delicious. Yeah. And it's pre-cut. Uh, excuse me. How much is the durian? Oh, it's 160. 160, 180. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. So let's think about a durian slice after. Yeah, I see McDonald's, but let's walk through here real quick for us just to see. So durian, we've got the grilled meats. A lot of it is fermented already. Pre-made salads, I assume you buy this by the weight, by the gram. Fried. Oh, cedar. You want the little crabs. Mushrooms, some kind of slice, I don't know, fish balls maybe. I have a bad for the crabs. Crabs? What do you think, guys? Yeah, this is great. All right, chilies, noodles, more fried, tempura. Oh man, too bad our kids have their mind made up on McDonald's. But every now and again, I throw them a bone. All right, let's, let's go on down, check out this last section. 
some kind of cold drinks. This is almost like a chendol in a way. All right, sugar cane. So we can do a fresh sugar cane, pomegranate juice, passion fruit. Yeah. So this will work. This is nice. So what do you think, Granite? So mango sticky rice here. This is a sweet dessert. Cedar, Granite, do you guys remember eating mango sticky rice? Yeah. Okay. We haven't had it yet on this trip, so maybe for dessert, we could do a mango sticky rice or a durian or some kind of sugar cane juice. Uh -huh. But a lot of good options. I wonder if that's... No, that's just... I don't know what this is. It'll be egg. Nobody's here, though. And more kind of... Oh, big, huge salted fish. Yeah, right over there, salted fish. Oh, that looks great. Maybe pork here. Yeah, that's so nice. Okay, hello. Hello. Sea fish. Yeah. So delicious. All right. McDonald's, hello, sir. All right, so again, now this is not so unique around the world, but I love these touch screens. So Cedar, you want to get started? We're going to eat in and uh, all types of crazy options. Let's get this thing switched to English. All right, Cedar, if I had a chance to look at the menu, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I want to go with the fries and fried chicken. Okay, so you're going to, oh, you're going to do the fried chicken? Go for it. Again, fried chicken is very common at McDonald's throughout Southeast Asia. Certainly, I don't think at all in the USA. All right, now, do you want just, just the plain one? And we'll get like a water on the side? Okay, now, do you want spicy or original? Original, good choice. Okay, add to order. And granite, you're up, my buddy. There's two things out. Oh, already. Samurai pork burger? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Order, and then there's one more. Uh, now, how do you, how do you pronounce that? Um, the, the cop Copero crispy chicken rice? Sounds right. Sounds right to me. Excellent, and looks good. That's it for me. All right, now I'm gonna order for Forrest next. I'm fairly certain he wants a kid's meal. Forrest, you want a hamburger or you want chicken nuggets? Here, you wanna push the button? Okay, come here. All right, take a look. There's chicken nuggets at the top. And apple. And apple, does that sound yummy? Maybe apple. Or do you want a hamburger? You want this, the this milk, this milk. We can get milk on the side. You want some susu? Uh, so click susu. Oh, this one. No, that's a big chocolate milkshake. Susu, yummy, toy. I All pick right. milk. Yeah, hit add to order. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab mine. So I'm gonna have to do a little variety. So I'm gonna definitely go burger. One of these caught my eye. Here it is. Uh, Truffle beef burger. I gotta figure out what that is. Burger only. So some kind of black truffle sauce it looks like. Add to order. And I definitely gotta try one of these plain, like original pork burgers. We'll do that only. And check this out. They actually have cheese sticks, like fried mozzarella sticks. I'll get the kids that. I think they're gonna like it. That's definitely a first fried mozzarella sticks from McDonald's. Oh, cheese dip for the mozzarella? Yeah, why not? Add to order. Okay, I think we're good, except for this one little item I caught my eye. Sweet Egg Floss Pinky. We gotta try that. And we gotta try a corn pie. So two semi-sweet little desserts there. Uh, gonna be quite interesting. Okay, I think we're done. Total bill, 739 baht. All right, thank you so much. Kids meal? There's your susu. Yes. All right. So we're gonna like stage all this food and uh, show you what it all looks like. But uh, so far, looking pretty good. The big unveil has happened. Now, Granite, what's your first takeaway on some of this food? I kind of want to try the mozzarella sticks. Oh yeah, get in there. McDonald's mozzarella sticks. That's actually really good. Yeah. Tastes like a like a normal mozzarella stick. Excellent. Now there's cheese sauce there if you are so inclined. Hmm. That tastes like nacho. Okay, sauce, so like a double cheese breaded delight. Yeah. Quite good. I think you think mom would like those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's kind of our mozzarella stick connoisseur. Forrest, how's the susu? Thumbs up, looking good. Now he got a kid's meal 
and it's like these little I don't know they're not quite the standard looking chicken nugget this is more like a whole chicken pieces which is kind of cool so maybe a little upgrade on the um, mini, chicken nuggets like yeah mini fried chicken yeah exactly exactly oh you slammed your mouth nice job Boris yeah how's the, how's the chicken nugget good yeah so you got some ketchup there to dip it in yeah. Spicy or just right? That's good. Just good? Do you want some oh, cheese, like want cheese stick? Now, Cedar, you know, what's your what's your strategy here with the old uh, fried chicken and I'm rice? I'm gonna like, break everything and put it in rice. Okay, so you're you're adopting the uh, shred the chicken and mix it with the rice. Mm -hmm. Now, there's also if you are so interested, they have a sambal here at McDonald's. They call it chili. So that might be a little spice if you're wanting any sort of kick it up a notch. I mean, no pressure or anything like that. But uh, initial takeaway on the chicken, is it delicious? Yes, the skin is like really juicy. Oh yeah, is the skin your favorite part? It's my favorite part as well. Nice and fatty and yummy? Yeah. Cool, excellent. Well, uh, looks like a good dish. Now swing it over to me. I've got the black truffle burger and you can see it is just loaded with black truffle sauce. I mean, you call that up like drowning in a generous portion. Now, this one I left wrapped up because it's so adorable. Yeah, Grant, it's got a little pig right on the wrapper. See my little pig forest? You want a bite of the, <laughs> the pork sandwich? You want a bite of the little piggy? Can I see it? Isn't that cute? Come. All right, so the pork burger Wrapping is certainly worth noting. Dad? Yeah, bud. That chicken was spicy. Oh my goodness. Well, here, you want to take a bite of this pork burger? I'll try my mine. I want to try on. Okay, take a big, take a big bite. So this is the original pork burger. Brandon has the samurai, which is definitely kicked up. Can you show us the inside of that? So it's lettuce. I think maybe like a mayonnaise. Yep. And I think it's pork. Some, it's definitely pork, and it's definitely right? yeah, some kind of sweet sauce. Now, is that what it was like in Japan? Um, uh, well, in Japan, this was when I was six, so I didn't really oh. open it, so I just had like ate it kind of. Okay, so. all right. Well, now you can be now you'll be able to taste it. That's really good. Sweet. Sweet. I think it has mayonnaise on it, and it tastes like pork. Excellent. It's actually like really good. Excellent. Forrest, how's the pork burger? Inside. Ketchup's on the inside. I think there's even a pickle or two. Cedar, if you want to, if you if he eats that whole thing and you really want a pork burger, I can order you one. Okay. Or we can. Oh yeah, now Cedar Forest, can Cedar have a bite? Do you want it back? Or are you done with it? You want it back when she's done? Okay, we'll let her have a bite or two. I like it. Now you typically go for chicken sandwiches. How does this compare to like a U.S. chicken sandwich? I like it. Bit off. Okay. Yeah, you, you definitely can taste the difference between pork and chicken. Yeah. You prefer the chicken? Oh, the pickle. Actually, actually, the aftertaste, I prefer the pork. Oh, really? Right on. So this might be a new uh, go-to item when we're in uh, Thailand. Yeah, like the pork, the pork is like spicy. Yeah. Or like the slightest bit. All right. Good flavor. Yeah, yeah bud. Pickles. Pickles in there. Excellent. So that looks basically like what they did is a straight up McDonald's hamburger and replace the patty with pork. So the standard sauce is on the top, ketchup, shredded onion, and pickles. I'm gonna deal with a black truffle burger. Again, that sauce is just dripping. Mmm. That sauce definitely has a great taste. It is, um, certainly you can tell that that's a truffle sauce right on the burger. So, wow, McDonald's really nailed this one. While I'm in, while it's available, this might be my, my go-to for McDonald's, but you can see it's just loaded with the sauce, and that sauce is making this a great burger. Mm. Wow. Very, very good. All right, up next, Granite, you've got this kind of chicken rice dish. Now, what's your it first is, takeaway here? So there's actually two. It looks like for chicken nuggets, kind of. Okay, same type of chicken. Nice, upgraded pieces. And it looks super spicy with, like, all this chili seeds and all that. Because, like, there's all chili You're not seeds. joking. Like, that's a lot of seeds in there. So yeah. The one thing I've noticed, at least in Thailand, when they say spicy, like they're not joking. Like even yes. McDonald's, you know, typically when you see like spicy buffalo, for example, in the US, it, you can kind of be fairly mild, especially at a big chain restaurant. But here, 
all those chili heats, plus they served it with chili another sauce. bat of chili sauce. All right, first reaction, here you go. Okay. Mm, that's a little bit spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you can feel it on your tongue. Okay, yeah. so is that a slow burn or does it hit you right away? It's like a slow burn. Like it keeps getting worse and worse. Oh my god. But it's really good. And I really like it. Are you gonna dare add more of this chili sauce? I'm okay. <laughs> nice. Granted, I'm gonna give your chicken a try. I'm gonna sop it up in this kind of extra sauce back here. You want some chili sauce? In addition to this. Alright, I better give it a go. So this is an extra sauce. Oh, it looks really dark. Is that good? Yeah, it's great. Super dark. All right. Mm. Ooh, definitely hits you with the spice, no doubt. Those seeds are legit. Like it like builds up kind of. Builds up. This this sauce here, yeah. I think has some of a, like a vinegar heat to it as well. It's definitely chili with I think a, a bit of vinegar. Mm. So all in all, pretty good dish. Cedar, you're almost knocked out that chicken. Still delicious? Yeah. Very good. All right, we're going to wrap this up in just a few minutes and then showcase these pies, which are both unique to all. We've never had either one of these flavors. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, we've got these two pies, both unique flavors. Corn pie, and I already forget what this one was called, but it was something to do with like egg, chicken floss, oh, yeah. pie. But it's a Hello Kitty, so you would think it'd be something sweet. Like a cherry. Uh, like a, exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna open these up, I'm gonna cut them up, and then we'll try to like, share them uh, as best we can. You wanna open that one, Cedar? All right, so I'm gonna try to cut this into four pieces, so we'll go right down the middle. And lastly, we have the corn pie. We're gonna cut this into four pieces as well. All right, so you can see there's all types of stuffing in there. This is the corn. This is the chicken, egg, something floss. Yeah, go ahead. It does smell like corn. All right, guys, pick, pick, pick. We each get one of each. This, the, this one smells like sweet. Yeah, something it smells sweet. sweet. Okay, so this is the, uh, Forrest, you want this one? All right, this is the chicken, no, egg, cheese, chicken floss. But it smells sweet. Oh, yeah. That's delightful. Are you getting a coconut flavor out of that? Yeah. That's awesome. So I would say that is definitely a surprise. I was not expecting that to be so delicious. All right, you guys ready to move on to the corn? So we have some bigger pieces and smaller pieces. Think about the ones you want. All right. Corn pie. Smells like corn. Mmm. Definitely a condensed milk kind of flavor there. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? The corn. You're liking the corn. I'm gonna go with the egg chicken. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking this eggy chicken cheese, whatever that flossy thing was. The Hello Kitty's my my favorite of the two. McDonald's here are pretty good. Yeah. I mean, some unique dishes. Definitely has that Thai flavor flair yeah. amongst a variety of those unique items. For me, the biggest takeaway was that black truffle burger and those pies. What about you guys? I like the like spicy rice chicken. I like my rice and fried chicken and I also like the pie. Oh yeah, the that's, yeah, it was really good stuff. I also like the samurai burger. Awesome, right? With that tangy barbecue. <laughs> So, all right, some unique items here at McDonald's. We are building a huge Thailand playlist. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch all those videos, share them out with anyone that you think would like the channel, and check out any of our other McDonald's videos from across the world. All right, everybody, we'll see you in the next episode. For a little add-on, we are gonna come back to the market now, guys. We talked about the mango sticky rice, but what are we thinking? We should wait for mom. Yeah, so Kelly has not had it either, and it's definitely like her all-time favorite Thai food is like mango sticky rice. So we're gonna wait for that, but I do think we should grab a durian. And we can eat it right now. Okay. Um, and then, granted, did you want to take a little fruit tray back to the yeah. room as well? Yeah. Do you have a preference on which one? No, not really. Uh, red one. One of the red ones. Okay. We'll take we'll take this one. Yeah. Or do you want a smaller? You want this size? So you so you guys will, okay. So let's take this one back to the we'll take this one back to the room. We'll eat one of these now. How about we take this one since there's two pieces, kind of small. Sure.
Okay, guys, you can actually cut it so we can each take a little segment if we want. Thank you. All right, granite. So it's a bit firm. Now, Cedar, are you going to try the durian? No. Okay, you're going to opt out on this one. It's definitely a unique flavor. You I mean, you've had plenty your entire life. Yeah. So, uh, the most, the durian that I most like is like ice cream durian. Oh, yeah, of like course. Like durian ice cream. Definitely it's delicious. Like milky and a bit it's sweet. Still, it still has to like stink, but it's so good. Yeah, oh, I get it. Well, maybe we can find some. I'm sure we can find durian ice cream over here. But, all right, granite. There we go. Cheers, buddy. Uh, the seed, no. So there is a seed in here, but they got cut it for us. It's like a hard outside, but then soft inside. Yeah, definitely a different texture than what we're getting in Indonesia. So yeah, you're right. Firm on the outside, soft on the inside. Why well, are the mosquitoes here so tiny? Oh. Hmm. That's good. I would say the the stink on this one is actually pretty mild. Um, definitely has a, um, a a bit of a light onion garlic flavor, but not overly potent. So this is actually pretty enjoyable. If you've never had dairy before, you know, this would be a mild experience. Compared to say in Maidan, where those things are really both. Yeah, excellent. All right, guys. Well, one little uh, kind of sweet treat, a little durian. Opposite McDonald's, McDonald's and durian. Good combination? I think so too. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, everyone, catch you in the next episode.